Three, two, one. Hey, Internet friends. This is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative, and Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And I've got another Amy. I had an Amy on this morning, and now I got an Amy in the afternoon. And Amy Cheryl, right? Correct. Thanks for having me. Yes. You get confused sometimes. People say, is your name Cheryl or is it Amy? What? I that? get it all the time. I get, oh, hello, Cheryl. And then they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, Amy. I'm like, it's okay. It's all, okay. it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Got name dyslexia. <laughs> it's hysterical. It's so funny. So you live out on the west side, right? I do. I'm out in LA, originally from New York, and I've been in LA for 15 years. Love the weather. Wow. You're coast oh, yeah. to coast. Yes, got both coasts. I got both energies in me. So I got the uh the very oh, feminine flow, and then there's like, okay, let's be direct, let's get to the point. And that's as I tell people about New York. They say, you know, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Because, but they tell you like it is, and then exactly the Midwest, they never make a damn decision. <laughs> <laughs> and then out in LA, are you in the northern part or the southern part? Where what part? I'm in southern uh, Los Angeles. I'm on the west side. I'm uh, near UCLA. Okay, with all the fruits and nuts. Of course, <laughs> I fit right in. <laughs> Good place to be. Yeah, out in California, I spent a couple of years out there. It's it's hard mm -hmm. to understand because they're they're all actors, so they're mm -hmm. acting. It's really really weird out there. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time to, I would say, find one's land legs and and find one's people. I find a lot of my closest friends uh, tend to be East Coasters. We just kind of cut from the same cloth and. Yeah. recognize and find our home together um and you know it's we navigate we navigate well once we kind of filter out the fluff once that happens then uh it gets easier living here exactly that's what i'm saying is there is that authenticity thing but uh, mm -hmm. i think los angeles hollywood kind of breeds the inauthenticity because they're mm -hmm. acting and sometimes mm -hmm. they don't know if they're on or off but once you get to know who they really are then you got the real deal yeah then we're good to go <laughs> right mm -hmm. yeah so you married and got kids and all that stuff no no marriage no children oh. uh single and available right now oh i well the, the amy that i interviewed before is a relationship coach she helps people Ooh. navigate through the the waters of singlehood Ooh, <laughs> look at that i love it More synchronicity it's kind of bizarre like that and the same name too exactly well not cheryl no <laughs> 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 so let's talk a little bit about what you do because i'm an advocate of coaches my wife is a coach and shaman and she does some dream work and stuff and the thing about coaching is some people think oh unless you've done it you can't teach me but nobody's mm -hmm. done it it's always new but as mm -hmm. someone that understands to see things from the outside because i've got a magic background you know i can kind of see behind the curtain mm -hmm. behind the veil I think it's helpful to have a coach that can see something from a different perspective and give you that, oh, I never thought about that. Yes. Like, like, I'm savvy to a lot of that. So my wife, when she brings certain things up and I don't answer, she mm -hmm. goes, you're smart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't want to answer these certain questions. And, you know, men try to fix things. Mm -hmm. whereas sometimes it's just a matter of listening because men and women are different. Yes, we are. Your focus mostly just... on women, right? Say it again. You, your focus is mostly on women. In the moment, my focus is on women. I love men, would love to work with men, yet my, my life purpose calling keeps coming back to the lane of work with the woman. It makes them better for the men. <laughs> sure. Because I was looking at your website, you have an academy, and it teaches women how to be, how to believe in themselves, be worthy. Right. You hit the nail on the head. Yes, how to trust themselves, get out of self-doubt. Basically, get out of the thinking head that creates doubt, second-guessing ourselves, overwhelm, and how to truly drop in and live life from what, I, what is really known as the intuitive mind, our gut feelings, our heart, uh, what feels right to us, what lights us up versus what we think we should be doing. Yeah, I or, think the, right? the brain kind of functions logically and does a left, right hemisphere. It's mm -hmm. kind of digitally working. So I look at men are digital, women are analog. You know? mm. Digital, mm -hmm. you look at the digital clock and it's, it's 2.07. Women right. kind of like a little bit after two. 
Yes, we're, we're in the flow. We're in the flow. And that's actually a really lovely place for a woman to be, to be able to let go because I find a lot of women will try to keep it all together or make the plan or make the goal or like strategize their life. And then what happens is they're actually not creating any space in, in their uh, beingness to actually experience and live life. Exactly. Like digitally, we've got uh, men who that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but mm -hmm. sometimes it rains on Wednesday. So you just right. don't go, but not all Wednesdays it doesn't rain sometimes. No. And so it's interesting like that because I know that, uh, I mean, I'm not a woman, but I can imagine all the stuff that like a man talking to a woman or the way that, that uh, our physical world is structured, mm -hmm. it may not be the, the right place for a woman. Like oh. there's men used to do things, but everything shifted mm -hmm. away from the physical uh, mm -hmm. mechanics, the man's way of strength and all that. Mm -hmm. And things have gotten to be, I mean, there's, I think there's a huge movement. It won't be long before there's a woman president because it's just, it's not based on logic anymore. It's based on yes. emotion and feeling and things like that. The great intelligence of our, our bigger knowingness. The age of Aquarius. It's about it's, time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the heart of humanity. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing it everywhere. We're coming back home to our hearts. I, I laugh. I laugh at, at the conversation. I hear the conversation in, in these unprecedented times, right, of we live in uncertain times. We live in uncertain times as if it's a new thing. But the truth of the matter is every moment in life is uncertain. Like that's totally. the only thing that's actually <laughs> true and constant. Who knows what's going to happen a minute from now? It's uncertain. Who knows if it's going to rain on Wednesday or not? And it can change. And, and that really is, a, you know, for a, for a woman, I would say, to be able to relax into her beingness and allow mm -hmm. life to carry her and to trust herself so deeply to know that she can handle anything that comes her way, any waters that get a little choppy, any circumstance, situation. It doesn't throw, I like to say, it doesn't throw, uh, take her off her throne. She stays mm -hmm. on her throne as the queen she inherently is. And sure. from that place, you know, she can make really clear, confident decisions in a moment's notice without overthinking it. And then ruminating in her head was that the right decision should i have made that and what are people going to think of me and you know is that person going to be mad at me if i say no and and then again they're like all up in here and that's not where our beauty and power is as women our woman our power is in our beingness and our breath and in our expression mm -hmm. right so so do you do um like just uh online coaching or do you do like in person or do you do retreats mm. or anything like that i do i do it all i have you know at women's worth academy I have a plethora of curriculum and online programs. Love that programs. word, plethora. A plethora, a plethora. <laughs> it's just I, never unfolding. A lot, yeah, because we as women were vast, and there are a lot of tools and skills that women have not been taught. Of how do I have healthy communication? Uh, how do I how do I say what I mean? And not go silent, and then feel resentful afterwards because I never spoke up, and I. And, and I find a lot of women, for example, like they, don't, they, they have trouble saying no because they're afraid that the person will be mad at them if they don't give what the person wants. And, and that creates a lot of uh, unnecessary damage and resentfulness in a relationship. So getting back to your question about what Women's Worth Academy offers, it's the skills, the tools in the format of online self-study programs and curriculum. And then... I have uh, live monthly, uh, twice a month, women's support calls. I do do uh, special immersion retreats. Uh, currently, I have uh, the Queen Immersion Retreat. I'm putting out the intention. We'll see if it happens this year with the, all that's happening in the world. If not, we'll be in flow and we'll do it next year. Sure. And that's where I, I sit in sacred ceremony. And there is nothing like women coming together. Uh, in circle, whether it's in person or whether it's virtually or whether they're receiving the energy of listening to the curriculum, uh, that it brings a woman into her softness. It brings a woman into her power. It brings a woman into, into a place of, I can live fearlessly. And at Women's Worth Academy, I provide them with all the skills that they need. So then they actually have like the roadmap, the guidebook, like for example, 
oh, you know, I need to have this difficult conversation because I'm upset with this person. How do I do that? Well, there's a program for that. And it literally has a step-by-step process of this is what you do first. This is what you do second. This is how you navigate it. And then this is what you can do if the person responds this way. This is what you do if the person responds that way. And it really helps to give a woman the confidence that she needs to show up fully and not have a good There's there's situations like... um, when you think power, the word power, yes. you sort of think of brute strength, force mm-hmm. kind of thing. But without words, a woman has the power to just almost do with the look. You know, no yes. words, just body language. And some stuff can oh, just yes. change. Or, so if you can mm-hmm. show how that power can be used, they'd be able to utilize that stuff rather than thinking, well, for me, when I have an argument, I have to yell louder. No, you don't. Exactly. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I love how you mentioned how your wife is a shaman because I, I'm, I'm in between the worlds as well. And, you know, the truth of the matter is that we as women are these magical beings. And our power very often is in our silence. It's in our beingness. It's in our clarity. It's, it's, it's in our vulnerability. It's in our, our ability to have compassion and feel safe. Because when we feel safe, then we can truly show up in relationships authentically. Um, It's the broodedness. It's the misunderstanding of a woman thinking she's in her power, but she's really just acting like a man in the guise of of a woman's body. And so at Women's Worth Academy, the skills that I I teach women are, are the true principles of feminine power. And what is feminine power? And the step by step process for that, because when a woman can then receive herself and 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 feel comfortable in her softness she can then be more solid and be that tree that's rooted and grounded yet can also have the branches and flow in life and and she gives more to life just like a tree a tree gives oxygen uh to the world you know there is nothing more beneficial to the world and the people in her world than a woman being in her feminine power totally and that yes so I relate to what you share about the silence and the power in our beingness and, and, and the look uh, where a woman, just by her beingness, when she is in her femininity uh, and not her bruteness and not her guarded hearts, uh, that is really where she's the great, greatest benefit and, and has the most power. So you said uh, you, do a, do you, do a, you do a physical retreat? Is mm-hmm. I do a physical the retreat. The reason I ask is because I've got a friend that has 150 acres in Costa Rica, and him and I were working on building an event center in the jungle. Ooh. The idea is not going to the beach like everybody's going to the beach. You're actually going mm-hmm. into the jungle and being with all the nature and all that kind of stuff. I'm right with you, Brad. My whole, everything for me is, is uh, nature with the trees, with, put our feet in the earth, listen to the birds singing. Uh, it's like, like my wife. <laughs> because it really is you know we as women we are we are the embodiment of mama earth we are that nurturing right with that nurturing energy so when we come back into into uh that element we actually like get a piece of ourselves back that we didn't even know was missing it changes women i've got a a musician friend gina satoli Mm -hmm. that uh she's a she she does mama earth she does little concerts Mm -hmm. all around mother earth it's pretty cool Oh, that's beautiful. Maybe there's a connection there. Who knows? Who knows? Anything's possible. So your website is womensworthacademy.com, right? Correct. See, I remembered it because you had those words. And I got to ask, is there something on your website that you can offer people and say, hey, here's a little quiz or something you can take? Or Yes, there is. I love it. I have a, it's a free gift. It's so juicy, like so juicy. Uh, It's the secrets to squashing self-doubt and claiming your confident queen self. And when women, uh, and it's it's a free gift, it's about a $200 value. And when women opt in for that, they will receive uh, these like 15, 20 minute videos. So I get to be in their living room and I give them these profound teachings that can help to provide immediate shifts in their life that they can apply right away. And then I have an incredible, incredible um, 
uh, offer for people that sign up if they want to go deeper and they want to be a part of my feminine powerhouse program and and uh, invite into the curriculum and come on the women's calls and all of that. But I would say the first step is yes, going to womensworthacademy.com, signing up for the free gift allowing me to be in your living room so that I can mentor you and you can get to know me more and learn more about my teachings. And, um, and there's more information on the website and, and they'll get, uh, you know, juicy tips. And well, that's why I do these videos like this, because, you know, you can text or you can do graphics and memes and all that stuff all day long. But here we get to feel your energy and your mm -hmm. cadence and your voice and see who you are and know that you're not some, you know, some 15 year old kid from Sri Lanka screwing around on the internet, you know? <laughs> oh my God, no, let me tell you, I've been on the other side of the, of, of the mountain. I've been that disempowered <laughs> woman that thought I was fine, that really didn't have healthy self-esteem. I was over 200 pounds up until the age of 15. I remember like shedding all that weight, thinking that it would make me happy. And, and I thought I was, but in reality, I, I look back and it was like, yeah, I shed the weight, but I didn't shed all of the, the low self-esteem I had and, and everything that I needed to work through. And, and well, there's a lot of that and, stuff that goes yeah. into this. I'm, I'm 62 and I'm still dealing with stuff because I was from an alcoholic family and I was talking yes. about, like I could be in the womb and my mom and dad would be having an argument. Mm -hmm. I took that on. Of course. So you need to figure out how to undo it. And I, I yes. listen to a lot of motivational sort of subliminal stuff. And all of a sudden you have this, uh, aha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The, the unbecoming to becoming. Yes, because, you know, when we're in it, we can't see it. And, you know, if there's, there's really nothing like having someone that can, that can see things from a, from a neutral place and be able to hold that neutral space for you. I always say that even a heart surgeon cannot perform heart surgery on themselves. You know, women, we're not meant to do it alone. We're actually, we actually do better. The, the, the old ways of women were taking on uh, a woman mentor, that lineage of that pass down, uh, like the, the apprentice, you know, the, the, the priestess, high priestess would take on the, the, the woman and, and help to mold her into becoming that empowered woman. And that really is, is what heals because, you know, we've been raised in a society as women where we've been more in competition with each other or gossipy or we haven't felt safe with each other because there's been a lot of upbringing of talking about each other. And uh, so working with a female mentor can really help to heal a lot of unconscious woundedness that women don't even know they have until they actually get to experience feeling safe with another woman that actually has their back like 100% and really wants the best for them and can guide them through. Um, it's life changing. It's life changing. Well, that's why I think that there's a it's, it's coming, it's getting me more and more evident, the whole female mm -hmm. age of Aquarius kind of thing, because the, the whole concept of competition doesn't make any sense to me, especially in business. I because know. Starbucks is still here. Mm -hmm. Here we got a local ones called Caribou. They're both still here. Burger yes. King and McDonald's are still here. Coco exactly. is still here. So there is no competition, not conquering anybody because there's no goalposts to reach. It's an exactly. infinite kind of thing. So the best way to do it is collaboration because you know, you and someone else could work together and there's how many people on the planet? There's no, oh no my lack. God. No lack. <laughs> we are better life. together. There's we more. There's women are birthing more and more people. There's <laughs> plenty of women. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, so I don't like to do these too long because we want people just to be oh. able to know what it is. But uh, once again, how to get a hold of you is your website, Women's mm -hmm. Worth Academy. Dot com. Dot com. And they could always email me personally at amy at womensworthacademy.com. They want to pop on Facebook and ask to be invited into the uh, Women's Worth Academy Facebook group. They can pop on there. Uh, they can DM me on Facebook under Amy Sherrill. Uh, but I, I would highly recommend they go to the website, sign up for the free gift, let me into their living room. Let me teach them some fabulous skills and we'll get to, you know, dive in deeper together and go from there. Well, I'll connect with you on some social media stuff. And what I do is I take this and beam it up to you, the internet and put it on YouTube and then YouTube goes onto blogs. And then I propagate it out in different social media and I kind of let the universe kind of find its way through. And that's how I do it. I don't, I don't do it the way everybody does with the funnel and the autoresponder mm -hmm. campaign. That's too digital. It's too mm -hmm. real. Want to be in flow. <laughs> Right. Put it out. Put it out there. That's Put right. it out there. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. And oh, yes. It was a pleasure. Thank you very yes. much.
Thank you for having me. Lovely to be with you today. Bye. <laughs>